The overall goal of this assay is to measure granulocyte and monocyte phagocytosis and oxidative burst activity in whole blood. This method can help answer key questions in the field of immunology such as how does a particular dietary intervention affect the immune response to exercise. The main advantage of this technique is that it is a simple, straightforward assay that can be easily modified to account for the available laboratory resources and research interests. We've been using this measure of innate immune function for the past two decades in many of our exercise trials, and we'll share some of these data later in the video. Before beginning the procedure, use a hematology analyzer to perform a complete blood count with white blood cell differential analysis on the blood samples according to the manufacturer's instructions. Make a note of the white blood cell count in cells per milliliter and the percent neutrophil and monocyte values for the samples. Then, for each experimental and control tube, use an extended length pipette tip to transfer 100 microliters of each whole blood sample from the lithium heparin blood collection tube to the bottom of an appropriately labeled 12 by 75 millimeter tube. When all of the blood has been transferred, add 10 microliters of the HE working solution to the tubes labeled with red ink and an H including the HE control tube, and cap the tubes. Vortex the samples briefly and...